Welcome to our brief introduction of everything you always wanted to know about sex, but we're afraid to ask, a movie that's packed with funny, shocking, and sometimes sad facts. As you watch this video, get ready for a roller coaster ride of emotions. In this movie, you'll encounter various characters and stories that'll make you laugh, gasp, and maybe even shed a tear. From bizarre scenarios to unexpected twists, there's never a dull moment. Now, as you dive into this film, ask yourself which role did you enjoy the most? Was there a scene that left a lasting impression on you? We're eager to hear your cherished memories and personal experiences related to this movie. Share them with us in the comments below. Get ready for an unforgettable journey through laughter, shock, and even a touch of sadness. So, grab your popcorn and let's dive into everything you always wanted to know about sex, but were afraid to ask. Everything you always wanted to know about sex, but were afraid to ask is a comedic exploration of human sexuality loosely based on Dr. David Rubin's best-selling book. Directed by Woody Allen, the film presents a series of sketches delving into various aspects of sex, from aphrodisiacs to sodomy, with a mix of hits and misses. Despite a talented cast and lively soundtrack, some chapters struggle to maintain momentum after promising starts. Allen's focus on humor and slapstick over provocation results in a light, fluffy film with his signature wit and burlesque style. The movie utilizes the book's format, framing each sketch with a question about sex. Some segments excel, such as the concept of the body controlled by miniature beings or the offbeat romance involving Gene Wilder's character. Others, like the story of a court jester's affair with a princess, land more tepidly. Yet, even the failures contribute to the film's overall inoffensive nature, characteristic of its time. As a sex comedy, the film may appear tame by contemporary standards, but its lack of offensiveness isn't necessarily a flaw. It answers questions with humor, such as affirming the effectiveness of aphrodisiacs with a humorous twist and providing whimsical definitions for terms like sodomy. In summary, everything you always wanted to know about sex, but were afraid to ask is a light-hearted romp through sexual topics, showcasing Woody Allen's comedic sensibilities and a varied cast. While not every sketch lands perfectly, the film maintains an entertaining and accessible tone throughout. Regis Philbin, contrary to popular belief, had a brother named Frank, who was 20 years younger. Frank passed away on January 27, 2007 from cancer at age 55. Tony Randall was originally cast as the voice of Templeton, the rat in Charlotte's Web without an audition. However, when Joseph Barber realized he wasn't right for the voice, they paid him and hired Paul Lind instead. Burt Reynolds co-owned a NASCAR Winston Cup team, Mach 1 Racing, with Hal Needham between 1981 and 89, which ran the 33 Skull Bandit car with driver Harry P. Gant, who won all nine of the team's NASCAR race victories between 1982-85. Gant also appeared in a NASCAR film directed by Needham and starring Reynolds. In 1999, during an interview on BBC's Parkinson, Woody Allen accused British interviewer Michael Parkinson of prying into his personal life and declined to discuss his custody battle. Burt Reynolds faced financial turmoil in 1996, filing for bankruptcy due to lavish spending, divorce from Lynn Anderson, and failed investments. Despite his success, Reynolds narrowly lost the 1997 Razzie for Worst Supporting Actor to Marlon Brando, with John Wilson's deciding vote going to Brando. Tony Randall, striving to revive classic theater on Broadway, established and served as the artistic director of the nonprofit National Actors Theater in 1991. He utilized $1 million of his own funds along with $2 million from corporations and foundations. Woody Allen, known for his cinematic prowess, listed his top 10 films, including classics like The Grand Illusion, Citizen Kane, and The Seventh Seal. John Carradine, esteemed for his acting prowess, held his performance in Bluebeard in high regard among his career favorites. In the 1980s, he tried to make a comeback with a movie named Heat, but it didn't go well because the director and producer couldn't agree. Even though things didn't work out, he kept trying to restart his career and worked on different projects. Tony Randall, who started the National Actors Theater in New York, was also a big part of the entertainment world, known for his great work in theater. Regis Philbin's first wife was the daughter of actor Frank Fallon, famous for playing Dobie Gillis' dad on TV. These people made significant contributions to entertainment, each in their own way. Their work continues to be remembered and celebrated, showing how diverse and talented the entertainment industry is. Victor Shakopopulais, portrayed by Woody Allen, shares the same name as Allen's character in a previous film. 
Woody Allen addressed allegations made by his daughter Dylan O'Sullivan Farrow in a New York Times op-ed in 2014, stating it would be his final comment on the matter. Gene Wilder, who also starred in the movie, graduated from Washington High School in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in 1951, later earning his Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Iowa. He was an active member of the Alpha Epsilon Pi fraternity. Television legend Regis Philbin made history by appearing on almost every talk show, both during the day and at night. He even holds the record for being the most frequent guest on David Letterman's late night shows, appearing a whopping 150 times. This shows how much he was loved by audiences. Switching gears, let's talk about Woody Allen. Besides his movies, he made a lot of money from real estate deals. He sold a penthouse he bought for $600,000 for $17 million. That's a massive profit. Plus, he made about $7 million from renovating a townhouse. It's interesting how his success goes beyond just making movies. These stories show how different people in the entertainment world have achieved success in various ways. They've left their mark on the industry and continue to inspire others. The Italian-inspired sequence in the movie was originally meant to feature peasants in Italy, similar to Bicycle Thieves. However, Louise Lasser persuaded him to portray modern, affluent Italians instead. Burt Reynolds declined a role in a film opposite Sally Field, fearing Hollywood's reaction due to their past highly publicized affair. Reynolds once owned a ranch where scenes for a famous movie were filmed. The property was later sold during bankruptcy proceedings. He also bought a mansion in Georgia during his marriage to Ellen Anderson. In the world of showbiz, Robert Walden, famous for his part in the sitcom Brothers, took a bold step by playing one of the first openly gay characters in an American comedy series. This groundbreaking move sparked important discussions about diversity in the entertainment industry, earning Walden praise from both audiences and critics. On a different note, Burt Reynolds, who was initially in the running for every which way but loose, once spent a whopping $12,200 on a custom hairpiece. Known for his captivating on-screen presence, Reynolds spared no expense in keeping up his image. This story sheds light on the lengths actors would go to meet Hollywood's beauty standards. These incidents give us a peek into the intriguing world of show business where actors juggle the challenges of fame and the demands of their profession. Every choice, whether it's taking on a role or investing in appearance, adds to the history of movies. The stories behind these decisions offer valuable insights into the human experience, both on and off the screen. In the end, whether it's Robert Walden's groundbreaking role or Burt Reynolds's extravagant choices, these stories remind us of the diverse nature of celebrity and the intricacies of the entertainment industry. They act as windows into a world where dreams come true, challenges are overcome, and stories are forever etched on the silver screen.